fires right up. My name is Amelia, Andrew, and we are finishing, hopefully, the wires on the bus. Andrew rerouted <coughs> the back to the front, so now we can get it to start, and he will explain all that because I have no clue. <laughs> Before Andrew explains how we fixed our starter problem, I want to let you guys know that it is very important to label all of your wires and every time you cut a wire, make sure to turn your bus on, make sure it starts, check your brake lights, check your turn signals. We made so many mistakes with wiring and I don't want anyone else to make these mistakes. It was very stressful and it would have cost us over $300 to take it to a mechanic to see if they could figure out what was going on with it. But Andrew's going to explain to you how he fixed our bus and how we got it to start but i wanted to just take a minute to let you guys know that those things are very important don't make the mistakes that we made all right so for the past couple weeks we've had a problem with starting the bus from the key inside the bus and as everybody knows there's a starter back here also so what I did was I just took this out, uh, ran wires, I haven't connected, I haven't really made them look fancy yet, but ran a bunch of wires to the front. Now we have the ignition and the on switch right there. So all we have to do now is Turn the key into the on position, switch the ignition up, let her do her thing, and oh, because I have the because <laughs> uh, I have the trunk open. Uh, the trunk has to be closed. That was like a little heart attack. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the trunk has to be closed in order for that to work. <laughs> Whew. Good God. Dealing with that all. Oh, gosh. All right, so you just uh, take two. You just <laughs> turn it to the on position. There we go. And then... Okay. Fire right up. bypass all the emergency exit stuff and the hatches and look, see the doors open with the while we're starting it which you usually can't do so then you just turn it off just like normal so all set we didn't have to do anything no looking up schematics nothing like that so all right if you guys have any problems let us know we can try to help you but that's the way we went about getting around all that.